Hi everybody, it's Gemma, welcome back to Pampered Wolf. Today we are going to be running through my list of the top best affordable moisturizers. Now, before everybody starts, I have not tried every single moisturizer on the planet. I buy all of my own products. Very, very rarely do I receive PR, but when I do, it's very rarely moisturizers. So I've had to go out and buy all these myself. So although I have tried loads of moisturizers, I haven't tried them all. So you may have your own pick of which you can let everybody know in the comment section below. That will be really, really helpful. Anyway, these are my top pick of all the affordable moisturizers. Another thing I need to let you know, these are my top picks of all the affordable bog standard moisturizers. I don't know about you, but I like my moisturizers to be really, really simple, very limited ingredients. A moisturizer should do three things, sometimes only two. It should hydrate the skin, it should soften the skin with the emollient ingredients in there, and it should also lock in any of the moisture with any emollient and occlusive ingredients as well. So they are the three things that I feel that every moisturizer should really do. And uh, all those moisturizers with added retinols and added this and added that, I just don't think it's necessary. I prefer to have a bog standard moisturizer and apply all those other things in the form of serums. So these are my top pick bog standard affordable moisturizers. This is getting longer by the second. Let's get straight into it. Before I do, please make sure you have liked, you have subscribed and you've hit that notification bell so you're not missing any future uploads. I upload on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays at 8 p.m. London time and I'm also on Instagram if you want to check me out on there. It's at Pampered Wolf, all lowercase, no spaces. If you are new here, hi, my name's Gemma. I'm a qualified esthetician and lover of everything, beauty, skincare and makeup. I am not a makeup artist and I no longer practice in a salon or in a clinic as my full-time job is now YouTube. Let's get into the first pick. Okay, so these aren't in order of preference, but I will say which skin type these are most beneficial for. So this first one is most suitable for anybody with a normal to oily skin. If you have a very, very oily skin, you will still be able to get away with this. It's absolutely fantastic. It's so super lightweight, and it also does everything that it says it's going to do. So it will hydrate the skin really well. It will also um, soften the skin, and it will lock in any moisture to prevent that transepidermal water loss. This is the Revolution Hydration Boost. Absolutely fantastic. All of the moisturizers that I'm gonna to recommend today are all fragrance-free and also free from essential oils. This is no exception. Absolutely fantastic product. The long-winded name of this is the Revolution Hydration Boost Lightweight Hydrating Gel Cream. Really long-winded, just not needed. Have no idea why they do that anyway. Revolution is a cruelty-free brand. This is also vegan as well. So absolutely phenomenal, super, super lightweight. It looks like a cream, but it is more like a gel. Extremely lightweight, not overly nourishing on the skin. It turns into a gel as soon as it touches the warmth of your skin. Extremely hydrating, but it does have those emollient ingredients in there, which is gonna stop that moisture from escaping throughout the day. Just really, really beautiful. A little goes a long way with this as well, but even if you apply excessive amounts, it's not gonna feel heavy on your skin. Just really, really beautiful. Again, very simple ingredients list. It's not gonna damage the skin. It's not got any harmful fragrances or any essential oils in there. Just really, really beautiful. And again, it's vegan and cruelty-free. The second moisturizer that I'm gonna to recommend to everybody is slightly stepping over my boundaries a little bit. In fact, it's really stepping over my boundaries quite a lot because this moisturizer contains niacinamide and it also contains peptides. And I said I wasn't going to include those ingredients within this list, but this moisturizer is so beautiful, I really wanted to include this, but I do need to make you aware of it. Some serums cannot be mixed with peptides and also niacinamide, very, very rare, but it does happen. So know your ingredients, definitely know what ingredients you're putting on your face before you're locking them in with this specific moisturizer because 
you may have a reaction with the peptides in this moisturizer and it may not mix well. I just needed to make you aware of that. So this is absolutely beautiful, which is the reason why it had to be included in this list. It's also super affordable, really, really lightweight, and it's suitable for all skin types. This is the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream. It's the fragrance-free version. You must get the fragrance-free version. Please don't put any fragrance on your skin when you're doing your skincare. It's really not good for you. This is also free of any essential oils as well. Absolutely beautiful, contains squalane, which is an ingredient that is found naturally in the skin. So it's absolutely fantastic emulating all those natural oils in the skin. It's got niacinamide in here, which is one of my favorite ingredients of all time. As you know, it's got hyaluronic acid to plump the skin, to hydrate the skin. And it's also got peptides, which will stimulate all your collagen production and also give you a really youthful complexion and that glow and that plumpness. Really, really beautiful. This is also um, cruelty-free. It's also vegan. It's paraben-free. It's sulfate-free. It's phthalate-free. Absolutely fantastic. Has some really lightweight and ingredients so nothing too heavy in this which is why it's suitable for all skin types but it does have a couple of ingredients in here which are a little comedogenic so if you do have really oily skin or you suffer from acne or you suffer from blemish breakouts or a bit of skin congestion, this is probably not one of the ones that I would recommend to you because of those ingredients, but it's a beautiful product for everybody else. Highly recommend it. This is the cream, absolutely beautiful. It's a little bit thicker than the Revolution Gel Cream but it sinks into the skin really, really beautiful. Slightly heavier than the Revolution Gel Cream, but still absolutely beautiful and does everything that it says it's going to do. The third and the fourth recommendations are both from the same company and let's just get these out of the way because I just feel like you're all waiting for them to appear within this video. I bang on about these all the time. These are my top picks, absolutely fantastic. The first one from CeraVe, this is the moisturizing lotion for dry to very dry skin. Now, depending on what part of the world you're in, you may not be able to get the dry to very dry skin. I actually haven't checked the ingredient list of the normal to dry skin. They may be the same product, they're just called something different. I really should have done that. I will do that and I'll update you in a future video. But I do know that some areas can only get the normal to dry skin. And in the UK, we can get the dry to very dry skin. Even though it says dry to very dry skin on the product, this is suitable for most skin types. Unless you are seriously, seriously oily, you will be able to get away with this because it's really, really lightweight. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous cream. It sinks into the skin absolutely effortlessly. It's extremely lightweight great for the daytime. Absolutely amazing. This contains hyaluronic acid to hydrate and plump the skin. And it also contains some really lightweight emollient ingredients to seal in that moisture and prevent any transepidermal water loss. This one and the next one are also absolutely jam-packed full of ceramides, which will protect and preserve the skin's protective barrier. Ceramides are absolutely fantastic natural moisturizing factors, which are found naturally within the skin. So adding them within a cream is seriously beneficial for the skin and the outer layer's protective barrier. The fourth product is again by CeraVe, and this one is the moisturizing cream. This is absolutely fantastic for anybody with a dry skin. I definitely wouldn't recommend this to anybody with an oily skin because this is just gonna be far too heavy for you. These have the same ingredients in there, but this one has the added petrolatum, which is the eighth ingredient, is a really, really good nourishing occlusive, which will seriously lock any moisture into the skin and prevent all that transepidermal water loss. This is slightly richer than the lotion. So this is great for the morning. This is great for the evening if you have dry skin. I have been known to use this in the morning when I've just needed that extra nourishing boost during the day. Or if I have some really dry patches, I'll just spot treat those dry patches with this cream and then put this one everywhere else. You may find that your skin goes slightly oilier if you apply this first thing in the morning. You may also find that your makeup doesn't last as long. So unless your skin is really, really dry, I would just apply 
apply this in the evening. It's a great cream, has everything else that this one has in, so it does have the hyaluronic acid to hydrate, also has those wonderful emollient ingredients, as well as those added occlusive ingredients in there as well, which just add to that nourishment and that richness of the cream and just prevent any trans epidermal water loss. This is absolutely fantastic, but again, it's a much thicker consistency. So if you apply that on the back of your hand, you can see that it is much, much thicker and takes a little bit longer to sink into the skin. My hands are going to be super, super soft by the end of this video. Really, really beautiful, highly recommend it. Now, every time I mention the CeraVe products, there are several of you that ask me for cruelty-free versions of those products. And although I don't have an exact dupe, which contains all those beautiful ceramides, I do have something that is very, very similar, very similar cost as well, feels very similar on the skin and will do a very, very similar job as well as being cruelty-free. I'm not sure if this is vegan actually, but I know it's definitely cruelty-free. This one is from The Ordinary and this is the Natural Moisturizing Factors. Now, Natural Moisturizing Factors, are those things that are natural in the skin anyway, that your skin produces or that are found within the skin that protect the protective barrier in the outer layer of your skin. Just like ceramides, there are other things that also do that job, including squalane, fatty acids, amino acids, urea, triglycerides. These are just full of a whole heap of goodies which emulate the natural oils within our skin and that is is the best way of protecting the barrier and nourishing the skin is using oils and natural ingredients that are naturally found within the skin anyway. You're just topping them up and making the skin far, far healthier. These are absolutely fantastic. This is, as you can see, very, very heavily used. I have another one on standby. As you all know, all my favorite products, I have to have a backup just in case, otherwise I get a little anxious, I've gotta say. So there is a spare of these in my bedside table. So this is cruelty-free, it's extremely affordable, it's non-greasy on the skin, and although this says it's suitable for all skin types, I would say this is suitable for more of a normal to dry skin, because this does feel a little heavier on the skin than some of the products that are catered primarily for any with an oily skin. So this does feel a little bit more nourishing on the skin and possibly will make your skin feel a little bit oilier throughout the day, even though this doesn't have a greasy feel to it. So as you can see, this is a really thick product. It does stand proud on the back of the hand. This is slightly thicker than the CeraVe moisturizing cream that I said was just suitable for a really dry skin and possibly just in the evening. It does soak in really well though and because even though it doesn't have those multitude of ceramides in there, it is jam-packed full of those natural moisturizing factors which will protect the skin's barrier. And also because it's not full of unnatural chemicals, it's full of ingredients that emulate the natural oils within the skin. This is a really healthy way of moisturizing and nourishing the skin. Again, really not greasy, a really beautiful lightweight product but could be a little bit too heavy if you have an oily skin. So they are my top pick bog standard affordable moisturizers. They are all absolutely phenomenal. Please don't go and spend an absolute fortune on a really expensive moisturizer that does exactly the same thing that these affordable counterparts do. Also, the more you spend on a moisturizer, the more fragrance is actually in it. So it's actually damaging your skin rather than doing a whole world of good like these ones will do for you. So I absolutely love all of these. Do let me know your recommendations in the comment section below. Let me know your experiences with all the affordable moisturizers that you've tried. Have you tried these? Do you not like them? What's your skin type? Do let everybody know your experience and share it with the rest of the wolf pack. Your experiences and your knowledge are invaluable, so please do share it around. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.